We were really drawn to the OCRB SHP because, I think firstly because of SHP uh, and the mark of quality that that brings, and then the way the specifications have been planned with these historical concepts that we use so much at Key Stage 3, then running throughout GCSE, but also with really clear specifications. It's very easy for the teachers and the students. What's nice about the OCR unit uh, with SHP is we're able to tie all those things together with the historic environment at the end of year 10 because it's looking at that big picture which ties into the thematic unit and obviously it's picking up the story from where the Norman Conquest finishes. Um, it's looking at Norwich Castle. And now we're doing uh, Living Under Nazi Rule uh, to finish up year 11. And in something like the Holocaust for example can build on the work they've done at, at, at Key stage three, for example. It, indeed, and, and also with the Migrants to Britain unit because we, we yeah. talked about the history of anti-Semitism. Interesting facts about Huguenots, for example, like finding out there are many Huguenot descendants in Britain right now at the moment, or uh, finding out stuff that we wouldn't normally know and getting deeper into the story. The way the course is structured, I think for me, it comes down to that clarity again. There is these three threads running throughout the five sections of the course. You're looking at um, white America, African Americans and Native Americans and their stories over that hundred years. When we looked at the OCR assessment, we were really struck by the simplicity of it. So you didn't have to feel that you were going to spend too long teaching the students how to answer particular kinds of questions. The mark scheme leaves it deliberately open and it's testing the students on what they do know, not what they don't know, and giving them the freedom to be able to express themselves in the GC answer. Use local examples if they want to as well and not be too restricted by an exam rubric. Because we've got so much ownership of what we're teaching in the classroom, uh, because we've chosen the units ourselves and we really feel really passionate about what we're teaching, I think that comes through to the students. Migration is really interesting because you cover such a wide period of time, how you can see the differences between like the impacts and why they came, and you see how um, opinions like differ, and especially because of things like religion and war, how that impacts, and because you can compare it to present day as well, and it shows just how culturally diverse we are. With these courses, it's seen how stuff that happened all, the, all this time ago, it still affects us nowadays, you know, like with the migrants and with the Norman Conquest. All the units that we're teaching have got such wonderful stories in there that we've really found has engaged the students in class. So it's not just that, that conceptual side of history, but there's a real human story element to it. So we've really enjoyed teaching it and we're happy with our choice.